Hello and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at the rematch PSG vs G2 and yeah, G2. I don't think their draft has improved that much. I mean, it looks a bit weird what they have there. It's not the team fighting tools that they're used to, but well, maybe they are not playing for team fights this time. So far, yeah, very passive game. And Juan also gets this old man's hands are not there yet, and that's first blood for Hanabi as well. That's another neutral objective. Engaging here on Targama solely might not be the play, but Hanabi has a... No, it's Bay. It's still very strong and... Ooh, one, two, three! Oh, the resets come in. Oh, G2, what's going on? You were so good at punishing non-teamfight comms early. And now, like... Like your cocky doesn't even have one effective item yet. Uh, so that's sole point on Infernal. And well, BSG, they're not lacking damage, okay? Looking for a pick here onto Broken Blade. Maybe they can get Baron. Oh, the TP got cancelled. Bay should die here. Yeah, okay, he flashes away, so that's that. Broken Blade, it took a while, but not getting away. And yeah, it looks like G2 was also not able to get anything off it. And instead, just another mid lane turret. Oh my god, base open. Like the gold lead now to 5k, amplified by the Drakes. This is more like 7 or 8k right now. Um, Oh, unified? What the fuck? But, who? Flag it lives, but. Kalista in these stages is not it in terms of damage. Broken Blade is quite strong at this point with two items, I believe. Maybe they can actually outplay. Flacket is playing it nicely, but Broken Blade is just showing up. Why Gwen is so goddamn balanced? That's a one team fight. Maybe they can snowball with the Baron here. Oh god, they also get the 1000 gold extra from the bounty. But Unified... Unified and Kaiwing, they can just kill them all. Baron should fall for G2 due to the rent, but... Oh my... No, wait, that's just the bounty, my god. Okay. But, uh, that's uh, two kills. Two more kills. Yeah, okay. That's two Barons, I believe, for G2. And obviously, they got the 1000 uh, gold bounty there. That's a sole point, though. But can they win the team fight afterwards? Ooh, Unified is free hitting so far. But, yeah... I... The Infernal Soul is just too much at this point. Yes, Broken Blade has scaled up nicely. Yes, Corky also finally is online, but that's not it. I think I think they might be able to end here, mid, pushing through mid lane. Like if Juan goes for caps, sure, he's going to fall potentially. But, oh yeah, okay, that Q was not a beyond, but nice play by caps. Whoa, solo kill, but uh, uh, they should take mid lane inhibitor and yeah. Their champions are now online, but soul is still something that exists. Maybe they can't find a G2 classic cheesy play and uh, yeah, win through that, but... Uh, oh wait, base level 14, what the hell did he do? Okay, so this is going to be potentially the deciding play. Corky, four items now, Broken Blade still three items strong. Okay. Okay, Smite goes down, but what about the ensuing teamfight? Yankos out of it. Ooh, Targum is also instantly down. Broken Blade all alone. He... Oh my god, the Q missed. But Unif... Oh god, I blanked. How... How... I, I want to replay. I, I blanked on that one. I was focusing on the bot lane play there. Uh, bot side play there. Okay, he jumps, jumps over. Pops caps. Pops caps with the E onto him into the opposing team. That means that Yankos has to move away from him to not die to explosion, but he bleh, he moves into Unified. Unified flash forward. He's a bit flashy today, uh, but that, that's just it. PSG is 2-0 versus G2, and this means that G2 with 4 and 3, they're now, ooh, they're now in a tricky spot, right? Yes, you won once against uh, RNG and uh, T1. That's the next match. Tune in for that, but G2... The curse of Fungvu Buffalo, I guess. It's not Sangwon Buffalo, their predecessor, but another PCS, VCS, Southeast Asian team. And Jesus Christ, like... Um, Unified is just sick. 
Good thing that I put him third in my AD carry rankings, but wow, what a game. Um, G2, again, we can question some parts of their draft. Obviously, they're left with way too little early power, uh, effectively due to the power vacuum that Corky generates. As such, with no bot lane pressure, they lost all the drakes. And even while now in the later stages, it was not amazing, but they had chances to come back. They had good team fights uh, here and there due to, well, their mechanics and so on. Fighting against, uh, well, a scaled up Tristana and all the team fighting tools PSG had. That's one thing. And then add to that, obviously, the Infernal Soul, which ballooned everything out of control, especially for a team with like so much damage and so many resets. G2, um, maybe they didn't prepare that much for PSG and instead focused on RNG and T1 in their preparation and scouting and so on, but for them it's tough. Anyway, let's see what the other games bring for us, and yeah, till then.